Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day whenever you're watching this. Welcome to my Turkey vlog. I was really, really kindly invited to Turkey by Go Turkey and the Tourism Board, and I'm here for about four nights, three days, and today is day one. We arrived Oh, not too late last night, but it was two hours ahead. So we arrived at 6.30 UK time and then 8.30 Turkey time and got to the hotel about nine, unpacked, did all of that, and then actually went and like explored the resort that we're staying in a little bit. It's absolutely massive. It's like a village outside and I don't think I've ever been anywhere like this. It is a family resort, so it's something that's a little bit different to I think what well, I'm like, I've never been to anywhere like this before. So there's a lot of like little families and kids, but it's not too busy. So it's okay. And we've got a room. Everything feels very, very safe at the moment, especially with the flight here. I was very, very anxious and I flew at the start of the year to Bali and then everything kind of went into lockdown as I was traveling back home from Bali. And that flight didn't feel as safe as the flight did yesterday. And that was with Turkish Airlines and they did temperature checks before we got on. They did hygiene kits when you get on, constant cleaning of the toilets. Every time someone went out the loo, I saw the air hostess um, go in and do like a full cleanse. And then it smelled really nice afterwards. So I assume they did some kind of like anti-back situation in there. And everyone was being checked for their masks worn properly. It just felt, a lot safer and then everyone was grouped together with who they were traveling with and then there were rows that were empty in between people the best that they could do kind of thing so travel wise that felt good in terms of safety and i've come out here with the tourism board they really kindly invited me to do this trip so i brought kp along with me which is great because I mean, we had so many plans to travel this year, so it's nice to just do like a little trip just before my B-Day and have a few days here in the sunshine, which is really lovely. And we're just gonna be exploring. So at the moment, it's 8.30 in the morning, woke up really early, and because of the two hour time difference, I'm pretty sure I woke up at 4 a.m. UK time, which I don't wanna think about, but it happened. <laughs> so we're a little bit tired, but we're excited to go and explore. And this resort goes straight down to the beach. So we're gonna go down to the beach now, take a little snap. I'm in this little ASOS like beach dress, which I got, which I thought was really, really lovely. I actually had to go for the one that was like, bigger bust because they sold out of the regular one really really fast and i was like i just want the dress so i've tied like my hairband just here just to um kind of hoist it up because the only thing that's different i think is the fact that the um length here is a little bit longer but here's kp in a little yellow number <laughs> <laughs> love it but yeah we're heading down to the beach now and i'll take you along today and show you what we get up to you saw I will leave a little picture here of the pics that we took and then we have breakfast we just like rush editing uploading doing stories that kind of stuff and making sure that's all uploaded because there's a few requirements for the trip that I need to do daily which I think is like a few stories and some posts while I'm here to kind of share my experience and my time and what I'm enjoying and that kind of thing I also wanted to quickly mention at the start of this video about the hotel as well and the kind of the measures here so everywhere that we're traveling we're traveling to places that are certified safety tourism spots in Turkey which basically means the 
ministry have come in and they've like examined all the spaces and made sure that everything's certified like a very high standard of like cleanliness, safeness, all the safety measures and precautions are in place in the facilities and things like that. So even the airport had all the certificates up everywhere. So did Turkish Airlines the flight and then also the hotel that we're staying in which is Blue Tropical which is like I mentioned a family kind of resort but actually we're walking around this morning and we can see why it's four star. It's very there's a few families around and you can tell that it's four families but it is really beautiful and the beach was obviously gorgeous this morning and breakfast was like really nice little buffet very chilled and we just come back to the hotel and we've got about an hour and a half ish to do some editing on our phone do a little bit of work stuff before heading out where we're going to a place called i'm definitely gonna pronounce this wrong so we're gonna leave it on the screen kaya kaya cook cook or something Koi, Kaya Koi, yeah, I think so. Kaya Koi maybe, which I believe is an ancient ghost town. It, I don't know. I'm gonna find out obviously by going and exploring it. But when I googled it, it said like the ghost town of Turkey, which looks amazing. So we're gonna go do that, and then we're going. We're getting a boat there, then getting a boat to another little place to get a boat to a place called Butterfly Island, which apparently is a very beautiful like cove with lots of rocks and gorgeous like crystal clear water. So that is kind of today's plan before having dinner then later here again and just going out and exploring a bit today as a group. And we're also traveling on one bus throughout the whole trip. So the, we're kind of like our little group together and then we've got the bus that's taking us everywhere. And then we've got the one boat driver as well, I believe. So it's all kind of, made done in that way which feels a lot safer and also in terms of the hotel there's temperatures checked when you come in um, masks worn pretty much around the whole of the hotel until you sit down and eat your breakfast or food and until you're on like your own little spot on the beach and yeah that's kind of an update really i know this might be tmi but i'm very hormonal and i have been and i've just come on my period in my white bikini and just everyone feel for me there if you're a lady <laughs> but it's not the one before going on a boat trip <laughs> but i'll be fine i'll be fine <laughs> i'm just basically taking like backup bits and bobs just in case but <laughs> it'll be fine because <laughs> he's just laughing at me but it's the truth it's the reality what happens and it explains why i felt absolutely rotten the last week and a half so yeah, it's nice to be here and in the sunshine. It's absolutely boiling, which is so lovely. And I'm sure me and KP are gonna have to be covered up throughout the whole day. If you watch my travel vlogs with Kirsty, you will know that we burn up very, very easily. So we've got like 50, we've got everything covered and we're excited to go and explore. So we've just arrived at Kaya Kuru village and there's like restaurants just before we go and like view the village and the ghost town up there and learn a little bit more about the history and that kind of thing but so we're here for lunch we just drove about an hour and a half in a very very hot car, hot car, hot car. So we're all a bit hot and bothered, but we're about to have a really nice lunch and a really nice table setting. So excited to do that. So we are now going up to the. How do you pronounce it? Kaya Koi. Kaya Koi. Kaya Koi. Kaya Koi. Which, if I'm correct, was a place in 1923 where the Chris. Turks and Greeks, Turks. Greeks yeah. lived here and then they were told by the government to leave, go back to Greece or live, go back to Turkey and then they were all forced out of their homes. Yeah. So it's actually quite sad. Mm. Okay.
we're now on the boat. I don't know what the last thing I filmed was. I think it was us setting off and we've been in the sea. <laughs> Had a nice little jump in. I was a bit scared at jumping off this like high bit here, but eventually I did it. I finally jumped in. I mean, <laughs> it took a lot. It I did. was literally like, Indy, you've jumped out of a plane. You can do it. I know, it wasn't great, but we're... I don't know what time it is, actually. actually we're going to make her insert the footage because it's so funny. Did we, you... we booed her. <laughs> I don't know if I have a video of it. Yes, you do. I took it. Oh, okay. GoPro. Okay, on my GoPro, apparently there's a video. So if I can get the video off my GoPro, because my GoPro <laughs> plays up quite a lot, we I will leave it here. excuses. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what time it is. 6.32 and we're just on the boat and the sun is going down. We've got another like 10, 15 minutes chilling before we drive back and it's about a 15 minute boat trip back to the bus. And then we're back to get ready for dinner, which is really exciting and nice. So <laughs> <laughs> that is the plan. And yeah, just enjoying boat life and sea life. And the sea it. was it's so like, warm. It literally takes me back here. Yeah. yeah, it does take us back to traveling together again which is just so lovely so yeah <laughs> to day two it's day two and i really don't know what i last filmed i'm pretty sure i showed the sunset and a little time lapse of us enjoying the sunset on the boat it was so gorgeous we ended up getting back to the port a lot later than like the itinerary had planned and it basically just meant we got back at like nine ish for dinner so we all just had like a five minute quick change went to dinner had a really nice dinner and some of the girls then went and had a few drinks i came back here showered freshened up and went to bed at the same time as Kirsty coming in, <laughs> um, about 1am, so we're a little bit sleepy today, but all good, we're off on a boat today, we're going to do different bays around the coastline, and we're going, I think we're going to Gojek from somewhere else, but I can't remember the name of the first place, the port that we're leaving from, but I will let you guys know when we're there, or on the screen now, and we are just going to do some bays, apparently you can swim into the bays and you can do little hikes, so me and KP have our like strap sandals on ready to go, in case we want to do a little bit of exploring and yeah it's going to be a really nice chill day we've got lunch on the boat today and then we're going for dinner at Rixos which is a hotel and restaurant here in Turkey which apparently is incredible I've seen photos and it just looks so gorgeous so literally got my WH Smith bag packed with like my dresses and my heels to change on the boat later before dinner and I'm really excited because we're going to be there for sunset so excited about that and excited to take you all along on day two we're on the boat and we are about to head off it is super lovely it's such a warm day today and the sea is so flat so fingers crossed that there's no seasickness but i think it's meant to be really lovely we're meant to stop off in different bays so it should be quite nice exploring the little bits and bobs and there's kp <laughs> 
And I'm just gonna cream up with my Clarins 50 sun cream, which for me is like the best sun cream ever because it doesn't clog my pores, so I can use it on my face at the same time. I've actually got it under my makeup today, but I'm probably gonna sweat that off. So I'll probably reapply at some point. But yeah, that's the plan, so I'll take you guys along. <laughs> very flat so it's really nice and we just saw a turtle and he was a big boy very big boy. he was a very big turtle which was nice so maybe we'll see some more which would be so nice and there is stingrays here I think that would literally be my dream I would cry I mean we know that and that's rare that is rare for Kirsty to cry so we'll let you know if you see any <laughs> We'll keep our eyes peeled. You on the crying situation. Yeah, on the crying situation if Kirsty burst into tears at a stingray. But yeah. lipstick on but I'm currently sweating quite a lot so I feel like it might go all around my face at some point this evening and I am wearing this little dress from Misguided that I've actually had for about five years so I'll try and link similar down below but I've just had to like pin it a little bit because it's a little bit a little bit booby um, and then I've got my little red mango bag like this to match the lips and that is my outfit for this evening and some little black heels but if I take a photo this evening I will leave it here on the screen we are off out to dinner so I will probably time lapse the next few shots as I'm gonna soak in the meal and the cocktail and the sunset and that kind of thing so we have just arrived we took some snaps I will would have already left them on the screen like I said on the boat or if not they'll be on the screen here and we are now off to get some strawberry frozen daiquiris which Lauren is very excited about <laughs> always so we have just sat down for dinner I have had two cocktails and I'm already feeling a little bit gypsy I don't drink a lot so it's a little bit like oh do I drink and I just got a blue Hawaiian which is actually really really nice it's very sweet so that's very up my street in terms of cocktails and for dinner I've ordered the grilled salmon with vegetables and potatoes and then for starters we've had like so many amazing like prawns and fish and calamari and it's all so fresh and this is the Rixos restaurant that I think I mentioned this morning that we were coming to but the fish is honestly incredible it tastes so good so I'm excited to try the salmon and have that as well but yeah that's the little update we've just been enjoying like catching up and chatting and talking about today and that's really it Welcome to day number three, which is our last day, pretty much. Last day, yeah, last day. It has gone fairly fast, but also feels like it's been long and like a good amount of time. <laughs> we went for dinner yesterday at Rixos, which I think I showed, which is a really, really gorgeous hotel and restaurant. They were amazing with like dietary requirements at dinner. The fish was freshly caught and it was just absolutely incredible. Me and KP went for the salmon and then everyone, well, some of the other girls went for like octopus and things like that and it just looked amazing. And then we had some cocktails. There was a little bit of drama at the dinner. A little bit of drama, behind the scenes drama. They're basically, they turned up like 20 plus men behind us. And Sorry. they, and they um, had a woman with them who basically asked us 
why we had two tall like two guys of us and then we were just like oh well, we don't really know what's going on but it was clear with the hotel and with them that they were being quite inappropriate and they were asked to, well they weren't asked to leave they were ordered cars to leave but yeah it was just weird they were very it was inappropriate i'm not really explaining this very well but basically there's a group of guys and they were just being they were staring quite a lot and it was a lot and it was really uncomfortable and then they were asked to leave <laughs> so the hotel manager was on it which was great but um yeah they're being inappropriate i won't say this that and the other huh they oh my god Kirsty. <laughs> um <laughs> but yeah anyway this morning we are off somewhere exciting we are going sea kayaking this morning so we've got breakfast at nine today so it's about 8 a.m this morning we're leaving quite early so we're leaving at half eight and then we've got breakfast on a coat like it's on a bay somewhere but i can't remember the name so i will tell you when we get there and then we are going sea kayaking and then we're going to look at some we're like getting the boat and a bit further to go look at some ancient history in one of the locations and then we are doing a full body and face mud bath and I am so excited because I've never done anything like that in my whole life. So that is the plan for today. And then we've come back here. We have about four hours before dinner. It's probably like a time we're going to go on the water slides and we're going to pack a little bit and then have a nice last evening dinner all together, which is exciting. But that is the plan. So I will take you guys along. <laughs> on the screen here this lovely dress from ASOS which is actually Amelia's that she let me borrow because I've been wanting it for ages but it didn't arrive in time so did a few pics in that but this place is so gorgeous and I can't get over mud the dog he is so cute and we're just getting ready now to go on the kayak so if I manage to get good GoPro footage it'll be left in the next few slides but if not we've been sea kayaking and I'll let you know how it goes had a lovely little kayak i will try and insert well i probably already have inserted a little time lapse of that from like phone footage that some of the guys bought their phones and if i can get the gopro footage but it was so fun i went for a swim the water here is just mind-blowing it is so so blue and incredible and then we just got the jeep back up to this like lookout point where we are now and we're just heading up to apparently like a really nice point where you can look over the bay and the water 
so that's what we're doing. This keeps getting stuck in my earring, so I keep just leaving my mask on my ear for when we're in the car. Oh, <laughs> got it stuck. But yeah, that's the plan. And then we're heading to another bay to go on a boat. Well, have lunch, go on a boat, and then have a mud bath, which literally just sounds so, so fun. So I am very excited. I've also swallowed so much salt water that my voice is kind of going. <laughs> because I literally just inhale it when I jump in. But it's just been so lovely today and just so nice to be here and enjoying the sunshine. So we have just arrived at the mud baths. I know you can't see my mouth, but hopefully you can still hear me. But we, yeah, we've arrived here. We now have the mud bath experience. You basically dip yourself, like cover yourself in the mud, go in the sun for like five to 10 minutes, and then you wash it off in a shower before going in a hot pool. And you're meant to look 10 years younger. So these bags, we shall see. <laughs> So we just got back on the boat. This is my after mud skin. It was so, so good. We smell like eggs, but it was absolutely amazing. And I feel very glowy now, which is quite nice. But we are just heading back now, but I will insert some clips now, or I probably would have already inserted some clips from Jess's camera. Thank you. 